I'm Lisa Adder Carlson, and I am from both St. Louis, Missouri, and Grand Rapids, Michigan. I lived in St. Louis until I was about 12, and then Grand Rapids, Michigan, until I was 22, and then have been here ever since. So I've lived here in Seattle, a block or two off of Aurora Avenue. Let me make sure I'm not lying. A block or two off Aurora Avenue, longer than I've lived anywhere. And so we wanted to create a, just a beautiful space of hospitality that centered around a kitchen. And so our, our kitchen is really unique and special. I wish it wasn't unique, but it is unique. We don't make food and serve it to them. We actually stock our kitchen with food so that um, our friends that come in can make their own food. So they can go into the kitchen, they can open the fridge, they can decide what they would like to eat that day, um, make it for themselves, make it for others. On average, we have between 40 to 60 people that come into our space every day. Unfortunately, it's growing. Anything that has happened or developed, like any of our programs, have developed out of them teaching us what it is that, that they need. I'll just go ahead and let you know you missed out on one of the best meals ever. So what you'll see is, I think what I think you'll see, is the doors open and people come in and they just start cooking food. We'll start smelling eggs and we'll start hearing people interacting with one another and laughing. Probably hear some arguing at some point. A lot of people sleeping, just resting. It is never boring. <laughs> It was really helpful for me to go to the Seattle School um, and put words and theories and thoughts to all the, for lack of a better word, direct service that I've been doing for so many years. It was like all these aha moments where I realized that the scripture was actually greeting something that I've known for so long. I hope it's a place where we're all experiencing what like, home should be, and that is working through hard things together, loving one another, showing up for one another, grieving when we lose someone, celebrating when someone transitions out of the life. I think here is where I have experienced more home than any place. This is home.